Hey guys! So today I have a very exciting tutorial because it is my first back to school tutorial. Yes! So I'm finally getting those done. But um, yeah, it's going to be the back to school drugstore every day tutorial. Yay! So this is going to be a completely affordable look for any other girl out there that doesn't want to have to buy like Mac or Lancome or anything expensive just to get an eye look. And these are all really, really affordable shades. Even like the lipstick and lip gloss I use are all drugstore. Who doesn't want to go back to school? Me. But we have to look pretty when we do, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's something that can be worn every day. You can always tone it down or you can like pump it up with like more crease shadow or whatever you want. But yeah, Wiggles approves. So I was hoping you guys would too. Like after I was done, he kept trying to lick my face. So maybe I'm just delicious. But anyway, yeah. So that is, this is the look actually that I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can see it right now. But yeah, and the lips as well. And the cheeks, I actually already used a MAC blush, but you can get any drugstore blush that looks like Fleur Power, which is pretty common. This is a pretty common blush color. So, yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys in a minute for the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I already did my eyebrows, so if you wanted to do that, just fill them in, put brow gel and everything on them so that they will stay pretty throughout the day, especially at school when it's like seven hours of non-stop boredom and, I don't know, wearing away of makeup. After that, I already primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I have been trying out and I really like. And um, I just spread it all over and put a little bit on my under eye. I'm not really going to be having a whole lot of shadow on my under eye, but it's just for like good measure. I don't know. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is take my palettes and what I'm using is this little palette that probably everyone has seen in the world and this is the Alme uh, Trio for Hazel Eyes. It's like a powder eyeshadow. Um, intense eye color palette. But here's the thing. Even though it's for hazel eyes, these are kind of like universal colors. I know pink doesn't seem like it's universal, but it really brings out color in like colored eyes and then it also brings out like browns. I don't know. Everything about this palette is good for like basically any other eye color. So really recommend using this one, especially since it's like $5, I think. So get it, girl. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. So, so I left my eyeshadow brush back at my desk back there. So um, I'm just going to be using a blending brush this whole time. But that shows how skilled I am, right? So um, I'm just kidding. But what I'm going to be using is the MAC 224 brush for this whole thing. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how I roll. Um, so first off, what I'm going to do is highlight my brow bone with this nude kind of shimmery beige color right here. So I'm just going to take that, tap off the excess, and apply that directly to my brow bone. And Wiggles is sitting on top of me right now because he thinks he's cool. So Wiggles, stop hitting me. Okay, so you're going to apply that. Then what I like to do is I like to take it and kind of dot it in the inner corner of my eye and sweep it upward to kind of connect with the brow bone because I feel like it brings more light into the eye. That's totally optional, but that's what I like to do. At least highlight your tear duct if that's all you're going to do, but that's what I like to do. Now what I'm going to do is apply the pink, and I know it seems like intimidating and weird, but it actually is a really pretty color on the eye, and it brings out most colors of the eye, so I'm going to take that kind of load it on my brush, tap off the excess, and just pat it on, especially with a blending brush, you don't want to blend it all over, or else it'll like fall all over your cheeks, which is not attractive, even though it is pink, so, just like blame blush, but tap that all over the eye, pretty, <laughs> now what I'm going to do is take that brown, and normally what I would do is place it on my crease, which is what I did on this eye. I placed it and then I blended it out, but since I don't have my brush with me, I am just going to go ahead and place it with this and then blend it out. So I'm going to take that on the very tip of my brush like this, kind of dot it on and then tap off the excess. Place where I want it to go by just kind of dotting it. And make sure whatever you're going to do is going to be symmetrical with the other eye because it's really obnoxious when I see people that have like two different types of eyes going on. 
Okay, so after you've placed that, now just blend it out with a very light touch, which you don't need like a really harsh like blending motion because sometimes it'll just make it muddy. So just kind of blend it in place where it is and then slightly bring it inward. Just kind of flick it inward. But mainly blend it outward. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is something that I really like to do personally. I am going to use the same crease color as my eyeliner and I'm just going to be using a little angled eyeliner brush. This one's from Sephora. So I'm just going to kind of take it with that powder. And this brush is a little bit moist which helps it kind of adhere to it. But since it is a powder what I'm going to do is instead of like sweeping it which will cause fallout, I'm going to actually like pack it onto my uh, lash line and then kind of sweep it out. But yeah. So just kind of pack it and move it. And there you go. Now, one of the final steps is curling your lashes and putting on mascara. So I'm gonna be using the Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline, and I'm using the Tweezer Man, I think, uh, eyelash curler, which isn't my favorite, but I just kinda had to use something. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And there we go for the eye makeup. Now, if you're going to accent this, what I would do, if you're going to go for a drugstore lip as well, I'm just going to use the Maybelline, oh, I can't remember what, I think it's Color Sensational Lipstick in Born With It, which is a very light, nudie pink. So I just apply that on. kind of blot off the excess on that because especially when you're going to school you don't want to look like you've just got like this gob of like waxy lipstick on then after that I'm just gonna apply the lip inflation by Sally Hansen in clear so it gives my lips a little bit of a pump and it also gives them shine and there you go Lastly, I had already done this, but I used Fleur Power Blush by MAC, but a good dupe for that would be something from, I really, really love CoverGirl's um, blushes. I think there's one that's called like something like Peachy King or something that's wonderful, and it looks kind of like Fleur Power. So yeah, you wouldn't have to use a MAC blush if you didn't want to. Go for any drugstore blush that you're comfortable with that suits your skin tone. So yeah, that is my back to school drugstore look. Yes, I did my first back to school tutorial. I'm so excited. Next up will probably be my MAC look, which I'll have like MAC shadows, MAC blushes, MAC, 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 MAC stuff so that you guys can show a more like high-end version of it. But this is the cheapest way that you could do this look. Obviously, you could go for even cheaper shadows if you wanted to or do whatever. Just kind of match them by this little palette. And these are the only shadows you need and this is the only mascara you need like and by the way this is like one of my favorite mascaras right now i love it to death so okay so there you go that is my tutorial i hope you guys liked this um and yeah don't forget to rate it or thumb it up or whatever uh comment below if you have any questions or anything like that and yeah thank you guys so much see you guys later bye